Okay, kids, we're now at Bunratty Castle and Folk Park. 11 euros for seniors, 16 euros for adults. This is the dining room set for dinner tonight. In this room, you can smell the peat warming the house. This is probably the master bedroom. Looks like they're quite religious. Small. Wardrobe. Dressing, washing, washstand, makeup table. And a sewing machine. This is the kitchen. I'd say these people are probably wealthy. And there's the fire burning the hearth. Open hearth for cooking. Interesting with a thatched roof. And this is the children's bedroom. Where you put the children. And you get a picture of me in the mirror. You can see I'm dressed for winter. This is another child's bedroom. And this is the upper level for a couple more kids. With a little desk and a washstand. This is a view of the kitchen. It says this is a replica of a dwelling of a strong farmer from the area of Kilfane County, Limerick. Here, prosperity is evident. These were rich people, I'd say. He had 100 acres, 50 hectares, 20 cows and their calves, and 10 dry cattle, or six to eight pigs, two horses, a donkey, young fowl yard with hens and ducks and turkeys, guinea, guinea fowl, and many pigeons. House inside is a neat, practical lobby. Yeah, these are, these are wealthy people. This is another farmhouse, uh, Loop Head Farmhouse. House in uh, Western Clare. Traditional building material, mortared stone, which was thickly whitewashed. Uh, this exhibit has three chimneys, two of which are architectural ornaments, assigned the farm's improved position. A special form of thatching is required because of the high winds, and the thatch is secured by a network of ropes the ends of which are fastened to pegs set into the wall. This homestead of a farmer, fisherman, from the western extreme of County Clare. It was a small holding, about 12 acres, three cows, small animals, and a little more than a potato and vegetable garden <coughs> in tiltage. <coughs> Fishing was supplied to the family income, and at times of the year, as autumn mackerel season Men spent more time at sea on the land. Another source of income was the sale of turf, cut and saved in the former extensive local bogs that were carried up to Shannon in boats and sold to riverside towns all the way to Limerick. This is the open hearts kitchen, probably an all-purpose type room as well. It's probably where the family spent a lot of their time. Master bedroom suite with a place for the baby. Wash table, small bureau, and a chest. Probably the chest they got when they got married. This is probably the master bedroom. Wash stand, sewing machine, and a four-poster covered bed. This would be an affluent person as well. This is the blacksmith's forge. We made metal products. This is a fisherman's house. Replica, reconstruction. Very humble. And a bedroom. Another bedroom. Open hearth main room. I call this a great room where they cook, eat, and live. And then yet, this house has a formal dining room. Very nice. This is the moat around Bunratty Castle. And this is the front entrance of Bunratty Castle. Four cannons at Bunratty Castle. And another view of Bunratty. This is the lowest level of the castle, the ground floor. Big banquet table there. And it's been restored from 
1954 to 1960. This is the banquet hall in Bunrari Castle. That is a pile of peat. That's not coal or logs. Peat, which was carved out of bogs. So it's living material, roots from a swamp, it were dried and then burned to keep warm in the winter. There's some shawls, two at 35 euro each. These are Aran Island, allegedly. Sweaters. More Aaron Island sweaters. Some, some more Aaron Island sweaters. And hats. Irish hats. They're only 35 euros each. And I don't see many Irish folks wearing them. They mostly wear ski hats. <laughs> 